He's the singing and dancing stage actor with the adamantium skeleton. I'm an Australian who played an Australian in a movie called Australia. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our top 10 favorite Hugh Jackman moments. Number 10, The Prestige, You Don't Know? In The Prestige, Jackman and Christian Bale are magicians locked in a bitter and often deadly rivalry. With each successive attempt to one-up each other, both actors showcase incredible range as they bounce between smug victories and traumatic defeats. But it's Jackman's heartbreaking loss in the first act of the film that is the most striking and memorable. The subtle twitches in his face speak volumes to his skill as an actor. I don't know. I'm sorry. Don't know? Number 9. Kate and Leopold, Rich Creamery Butter. In this film, Jackman plays a Victorian baron who travels forward in time to modern day New York. He soon finds himself doing what anyone would do in such a situation, voicing a commercial for margarine. Fresh creamery butter. Is there anything more comforting? Not only does he deliver lines like, you shall receive Butter's luxurious comfort in your mouth with suave elegance, but he looks pretty darn good doing it too. Swoon. Number 8. Swordfish, The Interview Swordfish is clearly an example of style over substance. Come on, nobody remembers what this movie is about. Sure, you remember Halle Berry, you remember John Travolta dressed like the king of the douchebags, and everyone remembers the interview scene, where the look of terror and reluctant enjoyment on Jackman's face makes this ridiculously over-the-top incident almost believable. Almost. Oh, she's good, isn't she? Number seven. Oprah, an illuminating entrance. Making a grandiose and admittedly rather silly entrance to a taping of The Oprah Winfrey Show in Sydney, Australia, Hugh got a harsh reminder as to why he doesn't perform his own stunts. Apparently, he got so carried away with having fun on his zip line, he didn't notice it carrying him into a lighting fixture. Oh, not the face. But always the professional, Jackman showed he's a good sport and went on with the taping. The show must go on. Yeah. Yeah. Number six, someone like you. These are people. Someone like you is not on anyone's shortlist for best romantic comedy, but even then, the mostly unknown Jackman manages to stand out with a mix of snarky confidence and convincing charm. As with all standard rom-coms, three quarters of the way through this movie, the obligatory fight is coming, and Jackman gets to mark this textbook moment with the film's most memorable line. Jane, these are people, not cows. Number five, Butter Thanking God. This film is a notable departure for Jackman. He is neither badass nor charming as used car salesman Boyd Bolton. In fact, he even looks a bit out of shape. All that alone makes this bit part worthy of a mention, but his heart to heart with the Almighty after an unexpected visit from Jennifer Garner's character is pure gold. I just wanted to say thank you. You're so cool, God. Number four, triple threat at the Oscars. Jackman was an established stage actor for years before making it big in Hollywood, and audiences got a major reminder of that in 2009 when he hosted the Academy Awards. Those who had only seen him as Wolverine were blown away when Jackman proved himself to be a genuine triple threat by acting, singing, and doing a whole lot of dancing. Nobody saw this one coming. I'm Number 3. Deception, Evil Jack In Deception, Jackman takes all that charm and charisma he's known for and turns it into pure slime. Everything that makes him so popular as the good guy or the romantic lead is used to make him into a chilling antagonist. The smooth, deep voice, his daunting frame, his killer smile. You'll never trust the Wolverine again. I'm trying to be a hero, so people are gonna get hurt. Now you go to the cops, and I'll make it look like you cut her pretty little head off. Number 2. Tony Awards with NPH How could Jackman possibly upstage his own opening number from the Oscars? Like he spontaneously broke into song with Anne Hathaway for God's sake, you can't beat that. What? He sang a duet with NPH at the Tonys? After he burns old Doogie like eight times? Pfft, and who?
Number 1. X2 Berserker Style You knew this was coming. After appearing as the character in a slew of movies, Jackman really is the Wolverine. Although there are countless moments of snickety-snick badassery to choose from, we've got to go with the one time he actually uses the damn claws as they're meant to be used. That's gotta hurt. This jacked man has had so many great moments we're sure we've missed a few of your favorites. So let us know in the comments section and be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com for more great top 10s.